morning everyone and welcome to another show vlog and this weekend we are at the beautiful Yalambi farm stud I'm currently in front of their indoor arena which is just spectacular and this is the arena that I am competing in all weekend at this point who knows things might change but I've got two rounds today and two rounds tomorrow I'm doing 70 and 80 both days just to keep it really simple and boring for Enzo just to get him going around and my main goal for the weekend is just to keep a nice rhythm to make him whoa you know and come back to me and just for him to listen so I'm really hoping that we have a really good weekend I know you guys loved my last show vlog when I was at Yulambi six months ago actually now it was in spring so there's two events on here each year and this is the first one for 2021 but I've just got my breakfast I've got a toasty and my coffee it is bright and early Saturday morning and I don't think I am on it until about midday but it'll be a lot of walking up and down the beautiful grounds to figure out where the arena is up to but yeah at the moment I'm gonna go back and see Enzo make sure he's got enough water and hay So here's the big boy, just happily grazing. Um, just taking Enzo for a little bit of a walk. And I think it's almost time for me to walk my 70 centimeter course. So I'm going to get changed, make my way up to arena three, walk that one. And I will see you guys up there so I can show you all of the jumps. I just walked my course for the 70 centimeters it looks really lovely lots of I'm just thinking to myself figure eight figure eight figure eight um, just want to keep a really nice rhythm with Enzo that's all and you know if we get deep hopefully he'll just lift his legs a bit but yeah sitting back keeping a rhythm that's my main focus for that round and or well, for the round coming up anyway so right now I think I've got about almost an hour and a half until I'll go there's, there's like 60 riders in the class so and I'm towards the end so I've got plenty of time so I'm just gonna chill out and relax until I need to get him tacked up and ready to go on our way 70 centimeter class it's walked over here really quite nicely haven't you boy yes he's here in the bell a few times so you know that doesn't mean we go having a good look around no, he's been very good
and <laughs> you guys are probably wondering why I haven't spoken to you after my two rounds today at Yulambi. Well, it was very rushed. I waited around in my 70 centimeters for about, I think 45 minutes before I could even warm up. But Enzo was so good. He stood there like an absolute gem. I'm so proud of him for that. Warmed up quite good, but sadly it just didn't come together in the round for us in that 70. Um, I wasn't riding very well. I've looked back at the footage. I'm leaning forward again, you know, two, three strides out. And it's just a habit I've got to get out of. And I'm really, really, you know, kicking myself that I didn't but you know 70 centimeters done and dusted and then I said you know what I'm gonna try and go early in the 80 centimeters in the 80 centimeters sorry so I don't have to go back untack him for two hours you know and then take him back up to a rain of three so I managed to be the third rider in in the 80 so after my 70 I was like oh deep breath like you know sorry I was like take a deep breath that one's done just focus on your next one. And I know that he can jump around 80 quite well. And we went into the warm up, and he was really cool, making so many awesome shapes over jumps. And I was like, no, we don't just go one, two, three, go, which is, I think, a really quite a bad habit of mine. You know, wait for me, and I'll sit back, and I'll use my body to whoa. And, and it was awesome. And my friend Gail helped me out in the warm up as well, and she just is really good she's she even talked to me before my cross country at cape and was like you've got this and just that like extra motivation is just so nice to have um so she really really helped me out and went into the 80 the first half really good i was so happy with him and then i i think he could have potentially have helped me out maybe for one the first one in the double and the one before um perhaps i just didn't you know put my leg on as much but I think you know it could have helped me out and it was definitely my fault to the last one I said go and my whole body was already forward before his legs had even lifted lifted off the ground so I was a bit disappointed in myself um as a as a rider I feel like I you know let him down a little bit in that 80 but it's a really good learning curve for us so I quickly rushed back, untacked him because he had been tacked up for quite a long time you know and being ridden in two rounds almost back to back and washed him down, gave him some treats and things. So, and then I've just come back, had a shower. I'm all ready to go to watch tonight's a speed. I think it's called the speed derby. And it's so much fun. All the riders are jumping massive and they're all going really fast. And, you know, it's really cool to see, but you know, that's today and tomorrow guys, I actually don't know what the plan is, but I'll let you guys know later, but we are due for like the edge of a cyclone down South here. And we might be getting a lot of rain. So depending on that and when, we're wanting to head back home that'll kind of I might have to change my classes tomorrow um but we'll see how we go and I'll keep you guys updated but I just thought I'd let you know and come on here and just explain you know how I'm feeling I was a bit disappointed in myself but you know Enzo is making some really lovely shapes over jumps um more so he's not just getting really long and flat he is quite trying he's trying quite hard for me but um I just need to do more rounds myself and, you know, us together as a team, I'm hoping that we'll get there. So, you know, it doesn't always end up perfect, but, you know, it's good to show you guys, you know, where we're up to. And I'm sure the rounds today were better than some of my eventing show jump rounds. So, you know, I'll, we'll live and learn and I'll, you know, and try my very best and learn as much as I can to try and ride better and ride good for him so so yeah that's a bit of an update so i'm gonna head back to yulambi now and just give him his dinner and give him a big cuddle i think everyone is bright and early sunday morning it has been raining since about 1 a.m not too heavy though um but enzo's just having his breakfast at the moment um he's got water i've just put him in a new yard next door because a lot of people have left so at least it's nice and up. <laughs> at least it's nice and you know dry and just grassy in there and not all like sludge um so i'm just going to go walk the course which is the first class in arena two and i believe the height is set to about 90 so i'm just going to go check it out and see if it would be something that Enzo and i could you know have a go at um but yeah let's go check it out
to arena two to do the 90 centimeters we're just going to see how it goes whatever happens happens it is pouring with rain um enzo's tacked up really nicely so yeah i'll just try and keep my leg on and hopefully it doesn't get too fast obviously if we go too fast we have a chance of slipping so we really don't want that to happen but yeah we'll just go around and just have some fun and just see how he goes Oh my god, guys! <laughs> we just did our first 90 and I'm crying out of absolute thrill and enjoyment. I am so happy with him. Oh my god, after yesterday's 80, I was like, God, are we ever gonna get above this? But he was trying so hard to get over those jumps and I had to really, really ride him. I think the rain was kind of, you know, making him back off a bit and it was so slippery actually once I was in there and I was coming around to eight, I was like, whoa, slow down, you're gonna slip. I'm so excited! <laughs> it's just so cool. Um, and guys, I'm very happy to confess that that was my first ever competition 90 centimeter show jump round. I don't know from for some of you, you're like, oh, I would do that in my warm up. But for me and where I'm at, I am, so stoked and it was just i had to give him a tap but luckily i borrowed eden's um little crop there because i didn't bring one over with me i had to give him a couple of taps on the shoulder and go no we've got to go here there is not i know you're backing off and you're doing exactly what i've been asking you to do instead of taking one two three go but you've got to go because there's not a spot but so happy with him guys i'm gonna unpack get dry and we are done for the weekend what a way to finish i am so stoked and i can't wait to so show my show job coach the footage too and be like we did it oh there's an umbrella tell me your horse is calm without telling me your horse is calm <laughs> he is so cool wow all right i'm gonna stop leveling now and i'm gonna untag the boy <laughs> i'm so proud of you i'm so proud of you Oh, you're so good. What an awesome day, guys. And I am so thankful for you guys watching to the very end of my show vlog. And I look forward to seeing you guys on my next video very, very soon, which will actually be another show vlog. So, Enzo and I, we'll see you then. Bye.